Hey Amore gang, so this is Shay Amore once again and I am back with another tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be showing you guys exactly how I sew in or sew down my pre-made lace wigs. So if you're interested to see exactly how I do this, then definitely keep watching this video. The wig unit that I will be sewing in today um, is from MissBy.com. This is their 13 by 6 lace front curly bob wig. It is 150% density. This is 100% human hair and the color that I got is a 1B black color. Now this is exactly how the inside of most pre-made lace wigs look. Um, it's pretty easy to sew in or sew down these lace wigs and that's the reason why I wanted to show you guys exactly how I do it. So in the inside of the wig, it does come with about four combs. It comes with adjustable straps in the back. And then as you guys can see, there's already pre-stitched lines where you can sew down your lace wigs onto your head. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Now to cover up my hair before I start sewing down the unit, I am using a weaving cap. You guys can get a weaving cap or a weaving net anywhere. Um, this actually came um, with the unit, so I was able to go ahead and use it. Um, in the other videos, I did use like a wig cap or a stocking cap, but because it's the summertime, I wanted to make sure that I'm using a weaving cap because um, my hair is able to breathe and my scalp is able to breathe. And then also with the weaving cap, you're able to sew anywhere on your head using this type of um, cap or net. And the last things that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is pretty much what supplies I will be using to sew down my unit. And as you guys can see, I have like the Big C needle um, with some black uh, thread. And I also use a pair of scissors or nippers, fabric nippers that you can get from Walmart. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply the weaving cap onto my head, making sure that I pull it a little bit further back off of my hairline. Then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install the unit onto my head. I haven't done anything to this unit. The only thing that I did do was cut the excess lace. So I'm finding the adjustable straps and I am making sure the adjustable straps are connected to each other just so the unit can fit a little bit more snug to my head. And then after that, what I'm doing is showing you guys the back of the unit. Now the back of the unit does come with a wig comb, which I will be installing into my braids to make sure that the uh, back of the unit does not flip up. And the next thing that I will do is go ahead and find one of the lines or one of the areas where they sewn down uh, one row of tracks or wefts and I'm going to part that off and I'm going to go ahead and use my needle and thread and start sewing down the back of the unit. Pretty much just taking the needle and thread, I am looping it underneath the uh, one of the wefts or tracks and then I'm going to go ahead and pull the needle and thread through. And I'm going to start doing my blanket stitch method. If you guys do not know what the blanket stitch method is, all you're doing is pretty much um, looping the thread behind the uh, needle before you pull it uh, completely out of the weight cap. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm, I'm not able to explain it. I'm better at showing you guys. So if you see exactly what I'm doing, I'm just pretty much sticking the needle halfway through the wig cap as well as my braid and then I'm taking the thread and I am looping it behind the needle before I pull the rest of the needle out of the wig cap and out of my braids and I'm just doing this throughout the whole entire area of that first row where I'm stitching down. Now when it comes to sewing down your lace wigs you guys you can sew as many rows to your head as much as you want. Pretty much I only do maybe about one or two and then I go in and sew the uh, front lace down which I will be showing you guys in a few. After I have went ahead and sewn the back unit I'm going to go ahead and start sewing the lace front down. Now um, as you guys know with a lace wig and a custom lace wig the way the back of the lace um, sits is completely different um, with 
a pre-made lace wig is sort of in a smaller u-shaped and with a custom lace wig you have a a line that goes straight across or the um the little piece on the back of the lace front where you can just actually sew the whole entire lace uh down but with the pre-lace with the pre-made lace wig there they're they are completely different and i'll probably show you guys again the difference what i'm talking about when it comes to a pre-made lace wig that you can get from a um a hair company their lace wigs are made on their caps a little bit different compared to a custom lace wig but i'm pretty much trying to um part out exactly where the lace wig i mean where the lace starts and ends and then i'm going to go in with my needle or thread again and just go ahead and do the blanket stitch method and sew that uh part down as well now if you guys do not know the key to having a snug unit or wig unit sewn down to your head and not um having it fall off slide back is your stitching technique if your stitching technique is taut and snug and it's not loose or anything like that that unit is not going anywhere until you decide to take off the unit or um cut the thread loose and i know i get asked a lot uh how long do i keep my unit sewn down to my head um it pretty much depends on when i'm going in and either going to wash my real hair or i'm going to go ahead and switch out the uh wig unit that i am wearing but pretty much i usually have it in for about a week week and a half and i just go ahead and take down the unit wash my hair or install another unit onto my head it's like i said it's pretty much up to you how long you want to uh, have your unit sewn down to your head i've went ahead and sewn the lace part down that's pretty much it you guys this unit is not going anywhere i did um push in the wig combs that comes inside of the unit into my braids and as you guys can see this unit fits very snug to my head it's not going anywhere it's not going to be sliding back and the good thing about sewing down your units a lot of times you do not have to apply like any type of glue tape uh got to be gel got to be free spray to the front of your lace or your hairline because you've already sewn it down and the unit is not going to slide back the only thing that i have to do is go ahead and style the unit i'm just um defining my part and then i'm going to go in with some water and conditioner to define the curls and you guys will see exactly how i style this unit this unit was pretty simple to style um as you guys know like i said earlier this is their curly bob unit it does come with um six inches of parting space which is awesome um the only issues that i did have with this unit is it did shed um i do experience shedding with this uh unit but i do not experience any tangling um there's really no odor to this unit as well um another thing is the with me defining the curls it was super easy to do like i said the only thing that i apply to this unit is some water some Aussie moisturizer conditioner conditioner that I mixed with the water and then I use my Demon brush and I didn't even use a diffuser I let the uh, unit air dry and this is you guys will see exactly how this uh, style turns out at the end of the video but I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial slash review on this unit that I got from um, MissBuy.com. If you guys are interested, um, I will put all the information down below in the description section. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Girl, tell me how you kept the frown yeah. All the time that I've been right here with you You haven't said a word, no And I've been trying so long, baby And I've been trying so long, baby Oh yeah, oh yeah To get that frown up off your face, girl, yeah I don't like to see my girl like that, no Whoa. Tell me, tell me, was it something I've done? Done Yeah
Cause I don't want, I don't want to know 